So I went through the packaging. I know how crappy the instruction book is and the sheet that they, these people, oh, they got to get up back to elementary school. <laughs> uh, teen, preteen, teens, late kids through adults. Good sakes. I think they need to have an, uh, an encyclopedia, uh, uh, no, um, or a dictionary or show what a teen is. You know, it's from 13 to 19 year olds. And these are the teens and pre-teens are 10 to 12. And I think um, that judging by these labels, it's game themes for teens, like, or whatever. They can't, they, they just can't, you know, label properly. They can't um, do that. But on the other hand, I think all the games are probably saying, I think by the time you're 13 years old, and we had a lot of um, reviews about it, I think you would probably know how bad this game is. And you probably want to hurt yourself in the head. Now, before I go into the games, I know there's a lot, a lot of folks who reviewed it, and I probably reviewed um, this game before. And I've first I've done a sketchy review on the first game um, after I've tried it out and realized how bad my experience is. And it's like, oh goodness sakes! And uh, when I be able to sh show about my bad experience the first time I'm playing it I'm saying oh my goodness sakes when every time when I open these every one of these 50, 52 games and I, I was just you know just <laughs> it it was just unbelievable and it's like 14 15 of these games I went through um skimmed through 14 15 of the games and they were so bad I probably wouldn't even play them again and I probably did a couple more reviews afterwards and like that and I know that um, Marcus is going to do his Armac versus Action 52. And I would love to do a uh, special between me and Marcus together um, to really, really show what Active Enterprises is. It's a load of, you know, guys who don't even know what a video game is, who don't even know what the market is, and says, oh yeah. Let's just, you know, cram 52 games in one cartridge and say it's great. And your little, little beautiful box art, and I open it up, and I can already see from the instruction booklets on how bad the game is probably going to be. Uh, of course, that, you know, one page per game, giving you a stupid little tip that probably won't even help in the... And they just put blob down a controller pad and saying how it's how to jump her like that where you where you're gonna be going into the game and learn the controls in a second and in the same time know how bad the game is anyway. Oh man. Well and I, I'm sure all of you are gonna be um done it here. I know the Cheetah Men too has done a thorough review. Um MPM nine hundred has done um, the unlicensed garbage on his um, games, and I also um, love um, Laser Shoot Laser Suit Gaming's review of um, Action Fifty Two. I mean, it's just a lot of um, people that are going to hate this game. I, I don't think there's any. I don't believe there's any one person that would post a positive review towards an apeness of Action Fifty Two. I don't think anybody likes it. But I'm glad to just review it again and again and again and again. So I can pwn active entertainment again and again and again and again. And it's just hilarious about, I mean, just looking at the games or, like, just hilarious of me just playing it for a second and have it unbelievably bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. I don't know why active enterprises say, oh, I can just get away with a lot of games in one. And, but they know better, and people all over on YouTube is gonna, it's gonna rant and, uh, bash the game around, like, the Cheated Men 2, Leaves It Through Gaming, and a bunch of other people, and it says, oh, you can even just, you know, 
Review it any way you want. I'm encouraging you to review this. I like my fans to get your own reviews and see what you think of this here. Then you're gonna just try it out and you see it's gonna suck. Okay, let's go on with the show. And we start it off. Make your selection now. Hmm. That's some intro. That lights, camera, action, 52. <laughs> and of course, they probably were just too lazy to have their own ending, so why not just um, do a clip art of Raw Basis Takes Two from the CD. Probably could make a good party, uh, party uh, music, but I mean, certainly, I'll just lazy and just doing the two. Three screens. Probably pressing this by, yeah, your trusty little left black button in the center of your controller that toggles through the things. And you can see, oh yeah. <laughs> Great, uh, what a g wide selection, but when you soon as you move in here, you will know, just make the thing a little pretty and spacey and like that, and say it's gonna be good. <laughs> okay, you say your game is exciting and original. Yeah, I'll just go through incrementing down from one to nine and eighteen and stuff here. I go towards the fire breather, and I'm thinking, and you're gonna be thinking first is, oh, you're. You're probably a dragon breathing fire, or like that here. And... I think you are... I don't know what... I don't think you're a dragon at all. But at least this is a second two... second... Uh, um, two player game, whatever the last year. And, um, player two controls the blue guy, and then you control the red guy. And... I don't think it's original. I think you guys just copied combat from Atari. And look at the... <laughs> and, um... I think it looks like... I don't know. On the left of the, of the blue castle here. And... I don't know what he's... I, these look like purple rocks, or... I don't know what it is. I don't know what the hissing is in the thing. I like the rocks hits or something. Or probably the dragon hissing here. Whatever. You get eight arenas. I don't know what the blobs are. <laughs> and yes, to do that, you can, um... It's a two-player game, so... I'll Hey, take that red dragon. And these are holes, and look at. It. Yeah, you can't you can't fly through it. Wonderful. These are towers that are 90 uh, feet in the air. <laughs> but I'll just use a red dragon again and kill off the blue one with my purple things, and you get yeah, no ending whatsoever, no victory, no ending. How original. Yeah, I mean, I mean, how can you how can you copy a 2600 game and call it original? Beats me. <laughs> well, I think I don't think that's original. I think it's exciting. All I got was a two-player um, combat, which I can probably use a two-player from Mario Brothers, which is much more fun than this. Well, that's all I have to say tonight. And, um, see you in episode three.